Well, this is uh, a great opportunity for us to get input into the post-secondary education uh, framework that we've been working on with our Aboriginal educators and trading partners. We started this over a year ago and uh, this is kind of the culmination. This is a forum where we're actually receiving some input from, from other uh, um, Aboriginal um, stakeholders. So we've got students here, we've got educators here, we've got members from FINESC and IALA and the federal and provincial government. So it's a great opportunity for us to, to finalize, um, finalize our policy framework. I'm encouraged that they are looking for ways to really uh, bring together the public and the Aboriginal post-secondary institutions for programming that is community relevant, that is community based, that is um, really the uh, that comes from the heart of our communities. Aboriginal workforce is huge. Uh, it's the largest growing population of all the populations in Canada and it's important to know that these kind of conversations have been going on for generation after generation after generation. So my hope is that we will actually see implementation of some of the dialogues that has been ongoing for many many years and hopefully see that implementation come to fruition here in BC. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, I think this is something that uh, hasn't been uh, you know, truly realized that uh, with the development of universities and the development of communities coming together uh, for the benefit of the students, uh, I think there's a tremendous motivation to really make a difference in uh, how uh, universities can serve the Aboriginal students and their communities. And that window of opportunity is, uh, is helped by the economic opportunities that are coming. Well, today it's interesting in, to hear all the dialogue about education and the importance of it. And I can't agree more. I mean, if our First Nations are to advance themselves in this world we find ourselves, it's going to be based on the education that our people are going to be able to attain. It's about finding your place within the institution and just you know, empowering yourself, finding your identity, and hopefully you, you, know, you can empower your people. And, um, you know, we have a place in Canada, like, like everyone, and it's just, you know, a university is a great place to, you know, learn how to do that. And, you know, it certainly helped me as an individual, and hopefully it can help our communities at a collective level. I think that what's being discussed here today in terms of the new, uh, the, new the vision that the province and all of the partners have come up with is, Wonderful! It's abs It's the very first time in all of the years. It's over 30 years now. I've been involved in education. It's the very first time that I've seen a document that has actually strategies to, to move forward and to empower uh, Aboriginal uh, uh, students and communities. When we empower Aboriginal students and communities, we empower all BC, all Canada.